the yeah. structure to the left, mm -hmm. it's made of all limestone. So they would go in the jungle or wherever they can find them and stack them up and they would make a big fire pit and burn them. And they wet it after three days and it crumbles to powder and they mix it with water and shells and that's how they stick it together like a cement. Oh. Like you know when you put the bricks together? Mm -hmm. Yeah, likewise. So for example, if we were part of the elite family from a royal family and we would come here, we would have servers on the side serving us a uh, chocolate drink, which is known as cacao. Only the elite could have drunk this. So like the low class, they wouldn't get the opportunity to have this chocolate drink because it was only for royals. Only for royals, okay. Mm -hmm. Hogan tree or a national okay. tree of Belize. For it to mature, it takes up to 70 to 80 years. Beautiful hardwood. All that you're looking at here on the left, those are temples, but they are not fully excavated as yet. Up ahead of us, uh -huh. it is known as El Castillo. El Castillo translates the palace. So this was, this had rulers. This structure here in front of us, it ranges 130 feet high. Beautiful. Oh, this is the this is the biggest maybe. Yes, it's the tallest. For here, yeah. Feet, yeah. That's a big hills. Oh yes, it is. All limestone. Everything oh. was built by hand. And so they didn't have any. Uh, wheel of beasts of burden that uh -huh. would take them or any carts or anything everything was by hand so hard work right yeah that's really and too hard oh, yes. still people can make this kind of height it's too hard oh yeah This this uh, temple was excavated around the 1800s by archaeologists. So 1800 years before. Yes. So mean that uh, two century. Mm -hmm. That's okay. right. Yeah. After the Chris, Chris born, it's two century. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, these temples, they excavate them layers by layers until they esca fully excavated them. Mm -hmm. Okay. You see height almost more than 10 floor. Uh, 130 it's feet. Uh -huh. It's yeah. a big. Yes, it is high. Okay. You, when you go up there, you get a panoramic view of the entire countryside and oh. also of the city here itself. We can go over there? Yes, we're going, oh, but well, not all the way to the top, but to the second How good, okay. All right. Very good. This tele works like an archive system. It, it either has like a carving mm -hmm. or writing of what actually took place around here and who was the ruler at that time. It's believed they suffer a long drought, like a hundred years or more, and providing food for 1.5, almost 2 million mines. They would use the soil over and over until it got weak. So they needed rain for the crops. So they did human sacrifices oh. in caves as an offering to the rain god. In return, he can give them rain for their oh, crops. Okay. Mm -hmm. up there on the wall well yeah beautiful right yes it is known as a freeze stuff of it so the power of that mm -hmm. the carbon that's the sun god in the center is the moon goddess it's chill to the far right mm -hmm. is the rain god chuck so this is our the, what All we're the looking god. at here mm -hmm. is a replica the original is behind it Something. They, yeah, so they preserve it by putting a replica on front. So all over here, you would have uh, people living in the outskirts who weren't elites. So they were living in there. They're living down there. People who were uh, in charge of the crops and different stuff to provide like for Like farmers. Village. Yes, that's right.
Bota viu? Yeah, that's a beautiful view. You can see all over the city yes. where they used to live. Right. So we are on right now. The second level. Second level. Of El Castillo. El Castillo Temple, right? That's right. El Castillo translates mm -hmm. the palace. Palace. Mm -hmm. So I would say we were up like a hundred feet, give mm -hmm. or take. And that's the very top that we're looking at right there. There may be the ruler. Yes. Hi, hi, man. How is it? Yeah, good. Either. Yeah. All right, man. Good. Is that Guatemala? That's right. That's a good Guatemala. one. There's like a, I don't know, inside, like a white dusty road. Yeah. Uh huh. Like, like the borderline right there. Can you just, can the people just walk? walk? Well, there is a river. You can go to the border. Yeah, it's a secure arrest, but uh, they didn't get the permit. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they're gonna get permit right now. No. It's a road up all the way. So this right here, uh, at around probably I would say 15,000 people, 10, 12,000 living in here. Is this city or? City. This city. So it rose mm -hmm. in prominence and also declined around 680,000 people. But really? Yes. So maybe some other emperor attack kill but they scared the go other place. Uh, so this was like a conference area. This was like a politics and warfare and stuff. And also the kids that would come in here and do feeds. This is where they do like a teaching of all over different stuff, medicine, politics, astronomy and stuff. It's like a parliament for this day. Uh, right is where you enter, mm -hmm. on the left is where you exit. Exit. So that time there was the variant too. Uh huh. Straight up ahead. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What is that? Like a working area station. Oh. Uh, probably okay. they would prep different stuff like grinding uh, corn or cacao bean. Oh, for foodie stuff. stuff. Yes. Oh, okay. Take a look up to the right. You see more carving on the temple. Oh, beautiful. This was the one entrance. Yes, right. up, up above, those are like the windows. Window, okay, that's look right. Yes. So within the structure here, they found a burial site. But uh, they explored it. But after exploring this stuff, they, you know, did some radiocarbonation and from there they closed it up. Just in case they would have any looters, yeah, they're protected from them. Yeah, and I know looter can get and sell high price for oh, other yes. other market. museum yeah That's market right. different it's been happening like mm -hmm. in the 70s mm -hmm. big hummingbirds you know? oh, this is a big one right He's showing off for you. The sport was played only with this left side of the body. The elbows, uh -huh. the hips, the knees, and the feet. Only one side of the body. You couldn't touch the ball with your hand. Uh -huh. So at the center of the court had a slab of limestone in a circular uh -huh. shape. Uh -huh. They bounced it, and that's where the sport started. The minimum player were two players, up to six players. Uh -huh. They would have like a, a pole with a rim on the side like this. Uh -huh. 
the ball consists of probably like nine to ten pounds and mm -hmm. they have to pass it through that hoop it sometimes it didn't take one day sometimes it takes several days or more but the beauty of this sport here was the loser they weren't the one who were being sacrificed but the winners were the one who were being oh, sacrificed. Loser sacrificed no oh no winners winners sacrificed yes so why they honor. win then it was an honor oh yes i will not win <laughs> yeah. Because then, if you die, hmm. what do you call them? Termites. Termites. So all of your reporting right there, Susan. Uh -huh. claro. They found a skeleton here, a lady skeleton actually. They think this is the emperor's daughter or the queen. So this is their, one more time, this is their living area. Yes. So they live the small, this yes. is one room, each let's, room. Let's go closer yeah. and see it. Yes, so probably a family could be in here, family of two or three. It depends. You see how long it is? Mm -hmm. So that's long. They would lie a bed of cotton on top. Uh, to lie on, uh, we'll put cotton uh -huh. and attach roof in above to that's guard them from the water, sun and rain. Now you have a holiday in Belize or something? Yeah, for five days. <laughs>